वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी द इनएडिक्वेसी ऑफ कंसिडरेशन विल बी टेकन इन टू अकाउंट बाय अ कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ ए वेन द प्रोमिस एक्सप्रेस हिज डिजायर टू गेट मैक्सिमम रिटर्न फॉर हिज प्रोमिस बी वेन द प्रोमिस परफॉर्म्स हिज प्रोमिस सी वेन फ्रॉड coercion or undue influence in the formation of the contract is pleaded d always at the discretion of the court answer c according to explanation to of section 25 of the indian contract act 1872 an agreement to which the consent of the promisor is freely given is not void merely because the consideration is inadequate but the inadequacy of the consideration may be taken into account by the court in determining the question whether the consent of the promisor was freely given section 13 of the indian contract act states that two or more person are said to consent when they agree upon the same thing in the same sense consensus a diadem section 14 of the indian contract act states that consent is said to be free when it is not caused by coercion undue influence fraud misrepresentation mistake the answer is c when fraud coercion or undue influence in the formation of the contract is pleaded inadequacy of consideration is not a ground for setting aside a contract on its own however it may be taken into account by the court as evidence that the promises consent was not freely given if fraud coercion or undue influence is pleaded The other options are incorrect. A the promises desire to get maximum return for his promise is not a relevant factor for the court to consider. B the mere fact that the promiser has performed his promise does not mean that the contract is valid. D inadequacy of consideration is not always taken into account by the court even if fraud, coercion or undue influence is pleaded. The court will also consider other factors such as the magnitude of the inadequacy and the surrounding circumstances. Here is an example of how inadequacy of consideration may be taken into account by the court. An elderly person is pressured by a salesperson to sign a contract to purchase a new car for a price that is far above its market value. The elderly person may be able to set aside the contract on the grounds of undue influence. even if the sales person did not use any explicit threats or coercion the court may take into account the inadequacy of consideration as evidence that the elderly person was not able to make a rational decision about whether to enter into the contract thanks for watching visit again